Hey dudes, I'm Nandi Bushel and welcome to my vlog. Action people! On Saturday I woke up very early. I woke up at 5.40 because I had to get ready for the workshop. The train to all the way to London Liverpool Street was closed. First we had to go on a train station and then we went on a we went on a train and then we went on a bus. Yeah, then we went on a train again. We we were early so we had time to go to the underground train. But the underground train where we needed to go was closed, so we had to take even more underground trains. But we were still still an hour early. So when we got there, we went we we went into this cafe and then we had we had breakfast because it was too early to have breakfast when it was morning and we had a green tea. When we got to the rock workshops, we went in the waiting room for a bit and then we got called in and there was a, a big jamming room and we got taught. They were like sort of parodies but they were like, they were like one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, we went for singing and we got taught silly voices to warm up your voice because if you don't warm up your voice you might not, you, can't, you can't really sing for nay 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 well and then there was a native american ratty american person from a teenage school and then we did um one one two one one two three two one one two three four three two one one two three four five four three two one and then you keep on going and then you start from eight and then you know you do the same thing at the band practice um we all get together guitar drums and piano this and we all get on and then one person gets on for one instrument and then we play the song and then it's another person's song. And I think all the people were really good. When we finish rocking out, you know, the guitar solo, bass, I met up with Joseph. Joseph's the one who uh, who was in the John Lewis had, but the one who was in the rocket and then and he's playing the guitar. He like go through the rocket and then all the people like they were acting. He's the one who's in the John Lewis advert and I met up with him and he also goes to the workshops and then we had some new people. He's also my one of my best friends. Then we went to have some noodles for St. Curry. When we finished eating the noodles, we went to King's Cross Station. When we went back, I did, I did acting. We had to copy the man, and we got to say "shut up" to him. So we were like, "Shut up!" We also did. We got scripts, and we also did our scripts. And I said, "Okay, Dad, I get the message." When I finished acting, Joseph came in and did some acting, and then Angelina, the penis from the John Lewis advert came. She, she's the one who played That one. Mama, just kill the mushroom. Put a laser to his head. Pull my trigger. I'm not dead. <coughs> I can't do him. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, that. That robot was a bit too hard. And then and then Joseph came and then we went after after Joseph came, we went downstairs and then we walked to the King's Cross train train station. We went to the train station and we went to the underground trains trains to Oxford Street Station and then 
and then when we, we got off the train and then we walked to the John Lewis shop and we went to the John Lewis shop there were five layers so like so here's the first layer so this is a how to what is it um, an elevator escalator and then so that's the first floor that's the second floor that's the third floor That's it. That's about high. And then um, on the fifth floor, there was um, a there was a cafe with lots of people. But we actually got to be by ourselves because we were in a studio next to lots of people. So it was a bit nicer because we got not like the normal chairs outside. We got an actual studio. Kind of cool. And then we we. Lois wasn't there yet because they were a bit late. Um, so we, we we ordered the drinks. We had so many. I feel like we had too many. Yeah. And then Lois came. And then Lois is the one. Yeah. Lois is the one. Face this thing. Yeah, she's the Lois, that's Lois. She's 13 years old, she's quite old, she's a teenager now. And um, she came, um, and we all sat, the man, the man had just brought in cupcakes, and then we were taking a picture of the people who were in John Lewis. He was like, oh, you are the people from the John Lewis side there. And then he was like, we can take a picture, you guys are so famous. And then we had cupcakes and then our food came because we ordered food. I ordered chips. Most of us ordered chips and burgers because that's mainly what they had. So we went to the balcony and I thought, how great is it to be back with the band? Best band. She was in the John Lewis and I thought, oh yeah, let's give everyone a group hug. Next. Went and said bye bye. The end. That is the story of Saturday, a busy day. Imagine being an eight year old, being really good at something, in this case, drumming, getting picked to be in a TV advert for John Lewis to be in a band that performs the Queen hit Bohemian Rhapsody in that advert and to record that at a world famous studio. Well that is what happened to Nandy from Ipswich. I went along to have a chat with her and her dad John, but before I could get a word in, the noise from those drums. Wow, you so intense. Look, at that was amazing. I did more than do you, do you, that. Though. If you ever feel frustrated, if you ever feel angry, do you come in here and just play the drums? Yeah. <laughs> that was great. He's just so focused. It's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And unusual because you don't expect to see a child of eight looking that intense. Exactly, yeah. I mean, she's she's been like that ever since she, she was five on the drums. You know, the focus, the dedication, the intensity was there from the beginning, you know. What do you remember? Was it just uh, your dad kind of encouraging you, or did you just decide drums? That's what I want to do. I got well, after church. I got a present, and I and I wanted the drums. Daddy didn't encourage me. I just wanted it. It's true. So uh, when she was five, she did a little maths test, and uh, and she did really well. So we took her to the toy shop, and we were walking through the toy shop, and she saw this toy drum kit, and it was you know a really small one. She said that's what I want, I want that. And we brought it home and I had a, a little uh, guitar and I started jamming on it. And uh, at five, she could keep a beat better than most drummers that I've ever been in bands with. And I was like, wow, there's really something here. And then she never stopped playing it. I never encouraged her. Yeah. And I couldn't, literally, I couldn't get her off. So um, for her birthday, we then got her a, a, a bit of a bigger, proper toy drum kit. And within a year and a half, she'd outgrown that until we, finally got her a real drum kit and uh, mm -hmm. and she loves it and everyone in the house loves it but maybe some of our neighbours don't love it as much. You've got some, I think you've got some like sound absorption yeah. stuff yeah. on there. We have to put the practice pads on um, or I mean we live in a detached house but it's still 
it's still so loud. Tell me about making this this advert for John Lewis. What was that like? It was really fun. I got to meet lots of new friends. And if I didn't go, I wouldn't have met all these friends. So how long did you spend recording the advert? Um, it was, if you were eight and um, under, you would spend eight hours for the film set. Or if, or if you weren't for the day. If you weren't at the film set, some parts you were, you would be in the green room playing stuff. So it was, it was a fun time, whatever you were doing. Yeah, so it was very fun. I got to play Uno if I wasn't at the set. It was fun. Uh, and Natty, how did you get picked to be in the commercial? Do you remember that process? Yes. So I played Chop Suey and a Bohemian Rhapsody. On the second one, I can't remember what I did on the second one, but I think it was a band practice with Lois, Angelina and um, Joseph the guitarist and then after that they would they would fill in a form for you to be in the John Lewis advert then then that's how I got in because they liked my drums they thought I was really good at it well mm. obviously and you are um dad you must just be incredibly proud yeah it, it's it's been a bit of a whirlwind few moments actually um I, I can't really put into words and, and strange to say on the radio how how proud I am because I get quite emotional about it you know it's just going to all of the auditions and then seeing a, uh, at the RNK studio in London, knowing how many great musicians have, have been there and chatting to the techies there who are saying, you know, it's very rare to get such a young uh, talent in. Um, and then for her to take everything in a stride as if it's just another day, it's quite amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm very proud, very emotional. It's brilliant. I mean, I know it's only like a, an advert, but just to, to go through the experience, um, it's been quite wonderful. Not many children get to be in an advert. No, not really. Yeah. And for me, the most amazing part of the advert is she she did everything. You know, she went to a recording studio. When you hear the drums in that advert, that's her. It's not somebody else that they brought in as a session. She went there. She played the part. She learned everything. Um, they practiced as a band. Um, there's no miming. The whole thing is, is legitimate. It's real. So I think that's the most special part about that advert. You know, they didn't they didn't cheat they they really did it for real and you're staying friends with the other band members you're going to stay friends with them you're, you're in contact with them yes i speak to them all the time on i don't know if it's skype or some other things i always speak to them yeah you think maybe one day you could be in a band with them yeah i'm hoping to be in the best band in the world with them i i heard what you really want is to get a blue peter badge at the end of all this one day yeah, I want to get all of the Blue Peter badges and be on TV for it. <laughs> I think there's probably every chance that that will happen at some point, if you keep going like you are. Fantastic stuff, huh? You can catch up with Nandy. She's got uh, a Twitter page, Nandy Bushel. Instagram, and a YouTube channel. Just uh, give it a Google, you'll find it. But uh, she's going to go places, isn't she? Uh, I could... is the story of Saturday, a busy day. Goodbye. Goodbye and goodbye. Please like, subscribe, share to the whole world. And don't forget to like me on Twitter and just look on Twitter, see my Instagram, just do everything, please. I really wouldn't like that if you put a thumbs down. Please don't put thumbs up. So goodbye and goodbye.